How do you destroy a TV show that was prematurely canceled by ABC TV in the spring of 1979, but was gaining in popularity, not only in America due to syndication, but around the world? Well, you do what Universal Studios did in 1980. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Battlestar Collectica, the channel dedicated to the memorabilia and collectibles surrounding the Galactica universe. After Battlestar Galactica was canceled by ABC TV, Universal Studios did something very, very shrewd. They took the original three-hour pilot, edited it down to a theatrical running length, and they issued it around the world under the name Battlestar Galactica. And that movie did so well, it grossed close to $50 million worldwide that they quickly put a second movie into production called Mission Galactica, The Cylon Attack. Now, that movie was just another bunch of episodes edited into a theatrical film, and it was a direct sequel to Battlestar Galactica. It did almost as well as its predecessor, and all that profit went right into Universal Studios because ABC TV had already paid for these episodes when it aired on network TV for free. So it was a win-win for Universal Studios, and it also kept Battlestar Galactica alive around the world as a viable property. And they saw a huge interest, especially in licensing in Europe and Asia. Now, fandom in these countries started to grow for Battlestar Galactica. And if you read the magazines that were published during this time period, you could see that it was very fresh to them. They had no idea that it was basically a TV show that was canceled in America. To them, it was something new and excited. And there really was a demand for more adventures of Starbuck and Apollo. They were all asking, when was the third movie coming out? And also at this time, Mattel Toys started to roll out their products throughout Europe. They were selling very well. The monogram model kits were selling incredibly well, especially in Germany. And again, they were asking, where is that third film? Now, Universal Studios, sensing the demand from fans as well as theater owners, and the fact that they can make a easy buck decided to issue what would become the third and final film during the spring of 1980 called Conquest of the Earth. And we are looking at the poster that was used to promote that film in the UK right here. When fans showed up to see the film, they were perplexed. This was not Battlestar Galactica. This had nothing to do with the first two movies. Where was Starbuck? Where was Apollo? Why was there a character being played by two different actors. Why was Commander Adama wearing a really bad beard? This made no sense. The movie was poorly written, poorly acted. The editing was so bad that it jumped from one scene to another. The special effects were subpar, especially when you compare them to the original two Battlestar Galactica theatrical films. It led to one German critic who said that he believed that this movie actually was a knockoff of an actual Battlestar Galactica film. He refused to believe that it was Battlestar Galactica. For some unknown reason, Universal Studios decided not to go back to the original series and piece together some of the episodes for a third theatrical film. The rumor is that they were looking at the Gun on Ice Planet Zero two-parter with some scenes from the hand of God, but for some odd reason, they decided to go in a different direction, which made no sense during this period of time. Galactica 1980 was a dreadful failed TV show in America that virtually no one around the world even knew existed. And for some reason, Universal Studios decided to take some of those episodes and Frankenstein them into a third movie, and it failed drastically. Conquest of the Earth grossed less than $5 million worldwide and was quickly pulled from theaters. And that was the end of the Battlestar Galactica theatrical phenomenon. It's very sad as Battlestar Galactica was actually growing in popularity around the world. And there was a rumor that Universal Studios, even after the failure of Galactica 1980, was going to reunite the original cast for a TV movie in America and release that movie overseas as a theatrical film. But the failure of Conquest of the Earth ended that whole scenario and the rest is history. Now, as for the movie itself, it's largely been forgotten. The majority 
of Battlestar Galactica fans don't even know this film exists. It was issued on VHS throughout Europe and for a very limited time in America. And even Universal Studios supposedly does not even have the actual print for this film, that it was actually re-edited for a TV movie. So it truly is a lost Battlestar Galactica film. I'd love to know what you think of this film in the comments below, especially if you saw it at the movie theater. I would love to know your childhood reaction when you showed up expecting to see Captain Apollo and Lieutenant Starbuck, and instead you got two characters called Troy and Dylan. Please let me know below. Please subscribe to the channel so I know you're out there. Give this episode a thumbs up. I will see you in the next episode, everyone. Have a great Galactica day.